Hello everyone, Steve Willis here. Today we're looking at the past question, Alka Hotel from the March-June 2018 exams, covering the topic cost, volume, profit from decision making. So before we get started, please review that topic, go to that past exam and attempt question Alka. After you've tried it at home, Come back to our webinar and we will look at it together. Welcome back, guys. First thing we need to look at is time management. And if you've watched my webinars before, you know the rule for our spreadsheet tool. In fact, the rule in general is 1.7 minutes per mark. So for a four mark requirement, that would be seven minutes roughly per requirement or about 20 minutes for the three requirements taken together. Next step, guys, let's check the verbs. So if we're looking at requirement A, we can find the verb, you guys, and that verb is calculate. And we are calculating two things, a break-even number of rooms and a margin of safety. So let us now make a shopping list on scrap paper so we know what information, what data we need to extract from the scenario. On the scratch paper that is provided to you, recall the formula that we're looking for. So break even point will be the fixed costs divided by the contribution per unit. Contribution per unit will be the selling price minus the variable cost variable costs per unit. We're also looking for the margin of safety. I like to draw a quick break-even chart to visualize what's happening here. And margin of safety would be the difference between the break-even point and the activity level that we're looking at, or the budgeted activity level. And we can do this in units, we can do this in revenue terms or, as the question requires, in percentage terms. So that would be the change between the budget and the break-even point over the budgeted units, the percentage drop before we break even. Now it's time to go back to your computer screen. Enlarge the left side, the left panel of the exam, so you can re clearly read the scenario and use the highlighter tool that is provided in the exam, but not in the Constructed Response Workspace, to find and highlight the variables that we identified during the planning on scrap paper, on scratch paper. So we're looking for things like fixed costs, budgeted activity level, selling price of a room, the variable costs. So at this point, highlight the important information and it's going to take you maybe a quarter of your time management just to plan out a question like this. Let's get started in the spreadsheet tool now. I like to use the zoom feature. When I'm working in a big spreadsheet, we can zoom in. Label your workings, label your sections so the marker can follow what you are doing. And let's make a template. We need the fixed costs and we divide fixed costs by contribution per unit. One divided by the other will give us the break-even point in units or room nights. Double click on the column separator to auto enlarge it. Starting place everybody, a template. Now we can pick the numbers right from the scenario right next door. So we've got the 600,000 fixed costs contribution per night will be the price minus the variable costs. Use the built-in functionality to do that nice and quickly. You don't need to show the workings aside from the formulas. The marker will look into that cell if there's a problem. Then we can use the built-in functionality again. One divided by the other is the break-even point. There are no marks for formatting, but I like to keep things in a nice, organized, even easy to read format. So I set my formatting to zero decimal places and a thousand separator. 
Let's move to the next part of this requirement, which is getting the margin of safety. So first step, let's get the budgeted number of rooms. So we have 25 hotel rooms. We are opened 365 days a year. And we expect a 70% occupancy. So the product of those three variables, a 25, a 365, and a 0.7, gives me the budgeted room nights. Now we can get to the last step, which is the margin of safety. And we can use relative cell addresses just by referencing previous work we did just by clicking on that cell. So here, the margin of safety will be the budgeted room nights minus the break-even room nights giving us the margin of safety in room nights, but we need to put it into percentage terms. So we simply divide the 1388 by the 6388. And again, using the power of the built-in functionality, we can do this quickly and efficiently. Look at this, we have a zero. Why is that? Well, that's from the formatting. Let's go upstairs, let's turn that into a percentage format with one decimal place. There we go, we've now solved part A, the first requirement. Nice and quickly, we budgeted seven minutes for that. Take, a, take off a little bit of time for the reading, for the planning, and we can make really quick work of such a requirement using the spreadsheet tool. Let's recap some of the things we just spoke about. First of all, there are no marks for formatting. So avoid excessive formatting. There are no marks for spreadsheet skills. So keep things really simple. The more complicated you make your formula, the more likely it will have an error. So as I just demonstrated, do things in a nice orderly step-by-step -step fashion so the marker can follow along, follow what you're doing and give you the marks. Using the same approach, let us now move to part B of this question. So we will label our sections very clearly. Remember, the marker is a human being. They need to follow what you are doing. Make sure your answer is easy to read, easy to follow, uses a step-by-step -step approach. The first verb here is calculate the budgeted P&L. So, that's a straightforward calculation. We need to find our contribution from which we will subtract our fixed costs. Contribution will be 900 room nights multiplied by the contribution per night. Fixed costs, we can just plug that in from the requirement, which will be $600,000 of annual fixed costs. The question says this accrues evenly throughout the year, so multiplied by one quarter of a year. Oops, something is wrong, guys. Let's go back upstairs. Let's fix that formula. We need to put an equal sign there, don't we? So go back upstairs, plug the equal sign in, and now we use the sum function, the only function you need for paper performance management equals the sum of the range. And we have now calculated the loss for the project. Let's talk about the own figure rule. Now a very important principle in your ACCA exams. This means that you will not be punished more than once for an error. If you make an error, a math error somewhere, you will lose potentially credit at that point, but it will be assumed correct for the rest of your answer. You only get the own figure rule if the marker can see what you are doing. So, just as I'm demonstrating, do things in a step-by-step -step approach using your relative cell addressing so that if there is an error, you will lose the credit once, but the marker will be able to see very clearly where you're using that number in the rest of your answer where you will lose no further credit. Your answer will be assumed correct. Your number will be assumed correct 
after that point. Let's not ignore the second verb in this requirement, which is explain. That verb is not outline or briefly outline. When you have explain or discuss or describe, you need to write in full sentences. Okay, so explain what you think. And I think we should stay open even though we have a loss because of the fixed costs. We will incur the fixed costs even if we are closed. So let us tell the marker that in a easy to read, clear writing style. Use an approach, use a style as if you are writing an email to a friend at work. And I will write several sentences here. I'm going to use short sentences simple sentences, writing in the active voice. I really don't need that many words to build short, concise, simple, easy to read sentences. And as you can see here, I'm developing a second idea here. The numbers were quite straightforward in this requirement, probably only one or two marks for those easy numbers getting that PNL. So I'm going to try and give two discrete ideas to the examiner. To the marking team. So I explain it from a financial point of view, that the fixed costs are not incremental for this decision, and then I take it from a non-financial point of view, that closing might hurt our reputation, the customers that we turn away might not come back when we reopen, and I have the idea as well that passerbys, people walking by, might think that we are out of business, which will further hurt our reputation. This is an essay requirement. Everyone will approach it a little bit differently. If your answer does not match the model solution, that is not a problem, as long as you are giving the marking team a reasonable answer that makes sense in the context of the scenario which I am doing segmenting my ideas. I'm looking for four marks, so I'm giving two written ideas there, two written sections. And part B is looking great, guys. We're moving to part C, the last part of this question, and see if you can follow along with me. See if the same tips are in play. I'm setting up my template first, a step-by-step -step approach, easy to read, a well-structured spreadsheet going step-by-step -step so the marker can follow along and give me the own figure rule. Ladies and gentlemen, I've shared my main tips for the spreadsheet tool in this question with you so far. Sit back, watch the rest of this webinar as I do part C, follow along, compare my work to yours, and see if we are on the same page. Good luck with your performance management exam, everyone.